Are some of your students falling behind in the classroom? They could have an undiagnosed disability. This is why it's so important for parents and teachers to recognize and diagnose any roadblocks students have in their learning. And unfortunately, students can slip through the cracks when their disabilities are not properly diagnosed. Without an official diagnosis, these students are not eligible for an individualized education plan. The good news is teachers can create and manage personalized learning plans without too much added stress. Today, we will be talking about how to do that in six easy steps. I'm Raid here with JotForm. Let's get into it. Students with undiagnosed disabilities are at a huge disadvantage in regular classrooms because their needs are not being met. This is why it can be very useful for teachers to help students create personalized learning plans. While personalized learning plans do take some effort to create, they are definitely worth it, as they can help students reach their full potential in the classroom. And creating these plans is very important to students with undiagnosed disabilities, so that they won't feel ignored or left behind in the classroom. Many teachers simply do not have enough time to create these plans, but they can be made quickly and efficiently as long as you follow these steps. The first step is to set learning goals. The only way to properly assess how well your plan is working is by seeing if your students are meeting their goals or not. Goal setting should not be treated as a random process. You should base goals off of your students' strengths and weaknesses or disabilities. And don't just set goals for your students. Include them in the process. Figure out what your students are exceeding at and what they need help with. Try to work with students to create SMART goals. This is an acronym. It stands for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Realistic, and Time-Based. Your student goals should be tied to something specific, like getting an A on a chapter test, not just getting an A in the subject. The goal should be measurable so that students can determine when they have reached it. It should also be attainable and realistic. Students should be able to reach their goals with the resources available to them, and they should be time-based. Goals are easier to track when they have a definitive timeline. Next, you should map your students' learning modalities. Once you understand how your students learn, it will be easier to teach them and provide them with additional assistance. Observe your students closely and determine whether they are visual, auditory, kinesthetic, or tactile learners. Once you have this information, you can build their personal learning plan and instructional activities around these learning preferences. For example, if students prefer visuals, you can include more videos and images in your lesson plans. Next, be sure to incorporate your students' interests. When you incorporate student interests into the lesson plan, your student will become more excited about what they're learning. When you personalize the learning in this way, it makes students feel like they are being heard in the classroom. They become more engaged and want to work harder and pay closer attention. Our fourth step is to teach students how to track their progress. The more engaged a student is with tracking their progress, the more engaged they will be with their learning. They will want to perform better in class. Overall, students perform better in school when they understand what they did wrong and how they can do it better in the future. You can track student learning in a number of ways. You can keep track of a learning software dashboard or maintain dedicated notebooks where they document what they learned each month or term. If a student is unable to physically see their progress and where they are in meeting their goals, they will not be as motivated to learn. But if they can track their own progress, they are more likely to take ownership of their learning. Next, be sure to assess student learning. Chart their progress based on assessments and periodic checkups so that you can see if your students are actually learning. Chart their growth metrics and celebrate their milestones. This will keep your students encouraged when in class and always give feedback to your students based on their progress and achievements. This will help them feel more included in their learning process. And our final step is to revise plans on a regular basis. Keep in mind that a student's goals and learning abilities will change throughout the year. It is recommended that teachers and students meet at least once a month to review personalized learning plans and see if the strategies in the plans are working. 
Regularly assessing these plans will help to improve teacher instruction and student learning. You can see if the plan should move forward or if new strategies need to be created. Creating and managing personalized learning plans is now easier than ever with the help of digital tools. There are plenty of personalized learning platforms designed specifically to help teachers and students create personalized learning plans. With these platforms, you can both create a personalized plan and track student progress all in one place. The most commonly used platforms are Epiphany Learning, Newton, and Versal. And using digital lesson plans is great for creating multiple versions of the same lesson plan. It's easy to change and manipulate the plan when it is available online. Okay, let's review these steps one more time. The first step is to set SMART learning goals with your students. Then map out their learning modalities. Next, incorporate your students' interests in the lesson plan. Teach your students how to properly track their progress. Then assess your students for learning and make sure they are making progress. And the final step is to meet with students regularly to revise their personalized learning plans. Be sure to incorporate online tools available to you, as it will make creating and tracking personalized learning plans much easier. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope this video was helpful. I'm Raid here with JotForm. Have a good one.